Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about builder design pattern which is another most extensively used creational design pattern by Java APIs and frameworks like Spring. Explain builder design pattern or mention the advantages of builder pattern. These are some of the most frequently asked interview questions for experienced. So let's understand how it works. In my last design pattern video, I have talked about factory design pattern, link given in the description below. So there are some major issues with factory design patterns when the object contains a lot of attributes. But that can be solved using builder pattern. First of all, we are passing so many parameters from client program to the factory class where some of them can be optional. But in factory pattern, we are forced to send all parameters and optional ones need to be sent as null. Also, it's hard to maintain the order of these parameters. Let's understand with one example. Imagine you have a customer management module in your application where the primary entity is customer. Your customer object has these six attributes that is first name, last name, age, date of birth, phone and address. Now once customer object creation is done, we don't want to change its state, right? Means we want it to be immutable. If we want to make an immutable customer class, then we must pass all six arguments to the constructor. Now what if only first name, last name and phone are mandatory and the rest three fields are optional? Then we need more constructors, right? Something like this. Still we will need some more like this to satisfy all conditions of custom constructors. If you think with six parameters, it's still okay to create constructors. Now let's introduce our seventh attribute that is salary. I think now it is a problem, right? So here problem is we will keep on adding more constructors. So instead of this, if you think you will provide a constructor with required parameters and then different setter methods to set the optional parameter, then you lose the immutability. Either way, you are not able to solve the problem. Now, what builder pattern says is to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction process can create multiple different representations. Let's understand step by step with one example. We'll be using same customer class. Here, the customer class has only getter methods and no public constructor. So this class's object state can't be changed once created. This means that it provides our desired immutability. Now, how to get customer object? For that, we will be needing a customer builder class as shown here. Here few things to mention. Number one, this builder class will be a static nested class with all the arguments copied from outer class, which is in our case is customer class to this builder class. Static because you can utilize all the parameters including private constructor from the outer class and this class can also be accessible by the outer class named customer. Number two, this class will have a public constructor with all the required attributes as parameters, which means you can access the same to create object of this class. For the optional parameters, your builder class must have certain methods and this method will return the same builder object after setting these optional attribute. Number four, you guys remember that we have created one private constructor right in the customer class with builder class as argument. So how to create the customer class object which will also be needed by the client for that a build method will be required in your builder class where the return type will be your outer class or in our case customer class type. Now here is a client class to test your builder pattern example showing how to use builder class to get the object by sending either required parameters only or with some optional parameters 
as required. Now, if you want to check the implementation of this pattern in Java jars, then you can check append method of string builder or string buffer as shown here. It will give you a better understanding. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I'll be catching up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with pride.